What? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not a trout. That's not a trout, guys. Guys, welcome to another episode. I am out far in the remote wilderness, heading to a small creek where we are going winter backpacking. And uh, we're gonna try and catch some giant trout that could be in this creek. I didn't bring a whole lot of food or anything along, no water at all, so we're gonna have to uh, kinda live off the land. I did bring one military MRE and a couple fixings to cook up a trout, but that's it. Look at that gorgeous sunset. Amazing. We made it to the creek. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. This here looks kind of like a good camp spot too. I think we could camp out right here. I think we set up the tent right here. We're kind of in a bit of a bit of a bowl protected from the wind. Now it is going to be a clear night, so that means it's going to be bitter cold. So we got to get a fire started ASAP. Ah. All right. You know what? First things first. Let's just get this tent up ah, right away. And that is a super lightweight tent. This guy here uh, just sets up with my trekking poles. This is the same tent that I've been using up in the mountains all year long uh, for years now. When I did the fancy tent rollout, my stakes were in it and they flew somewhere into the dark. There they went. Oh man, the ground is totally frozen. Okay, I didn't think about that. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, we're gonna need to find a rock. Oh man, one of these branches are thick to pound a stake, but I did just find this dead wood here and it's cold out here and snowy, but it's luckily dry cold. It's not wet or anything. So this will make nice firewood. Oh man, it is spooky in here under the trees. Whew. This stuff here, while not being exactly what I'm looking for, might make perfect fire starter material. Maybe we can use this as a hammer. I just got back to the creek and something loud and big just splashed in the water. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to camp right next to the creek after all. What were you? There, we've got our caveman hammer. This should be quite effective for those stakes, hopefully. Let's see. Yes. This uh, guy here sets up with our trekking poles as the tent poles. To stay warm tonight, we have with us a zero degree sleeping bag. Zero degree sadly does not mean comfortable at zero degree, it just simply means that you won't get hypothermia uh, at zero degrees. All right, so tonight on the fire, we're going old school. We're gonna use the old flint and steel. Now, uh, if you guys have never heard of a flint and steel before, this is basically what they used uh, back all the way back into the 1300s 
and uh, the old cowboys back in the day used it uh, well before the matches were invented. A lot of people, myself included, use ferro rods, but they didn't actually come around until the 20th century. You've got your flint stone right here, and you strike your flint against the steel, and you can see it throws a bunch of sparks. Basically what's happening is, is this is a very hard stone and this is a very hard high carbon uh, steel. And when the two clash together, the stone shaves off tiny particles of steel uh, in such a violent fashion that it gets them so hot that they just burst up into sparks. What we're gonna use to start the fire is a little piece of char cloth. So I've never actually started a fire with a flint and steel before, so let's do this, I'm super excited. Oh, 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 oh. Place them in there. We gotta dust some of this up a little bit more. There we go. might just be a little damp. Oh, I put it out, dang it. <sighs> we failed, it's official. We just burnt through our last bit of char cloth and we died out here. We're dead, mission over, game over. That just shows guys, never ever rely on one fire source when you are out in the wild. This guy here, the old trusty ferro rod. Let's see what happens with this. There we go. And that's why you always have two ways of making fire with you. Hear those coyotes howling? They're close. All right, just went out and got us what should hopefully last here uh, all night. Right, remember, I do not have any water uh, with me, so what we're just gonna do is collect kind of the clean, <laughs> Wow, it's so hard, super frozen snow. So we're just gonna collect that. I couldn't see what did that, but you guys heard it. I am 90% sure that that was a beaver down there. And what they do when they feel threatened, like someone's in their territory, is they splash their tail into the water. And it's kind of like an aggression thing, like a, hey, stay away. Like, I don't know, yeah. The beaver's not happy that we're here. You want some tea? Jeez, I could just imagine the beaver coming up from behind me and just grabbing me and towing me down into the, the creek. All right, so for food, what we have with us tonight is a uh, US military MRE. Uh, this is menu eight, meatballs in marinara sauce. Oh, the old beef snack strip. Uh, not perfect, but uh, that's all right. We got our main course here, the, what is this, meatballs and 
meatballs and marinara sauce. I actually feel like there's meatballs in there. <laughs> Italian breadsticks, lemonade, cheese spread with jalapenos. I think our tea is, oh yeah, that looks amazing. Wow. Along with some more of this delicious military Italian bread. Mm -hmm. Some tea will help that go down. Ooh, that's still really hot. All right, besides cold looking, there we are. You guys hear that again? The beaver is down there. It could also be a carp. Carp also splash around in the water, but it, this very much sounds like a beaver. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up in this mummy bag here. It's already late. Felt nice out at the fire, but uh, it's definitely freezing cold in here. I'm gonna wrap up now and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Whew, it was so cold last night. All right, now I gotta get up and catch a trout. Well, let's make some coffee first. All right, that little guy's cooking away in there. Hopefully we'll have some hot water for some coffee soon. I gotta really use some coffee. While that warms up, why don't we try and just do a couple little test casts in the water down here. I feel like this was an avoidable mistake. My worms are frozen solid. And there's just like little icebergs floating by everywhere. Some military instant coffee as well as uh <laughs> some creamer Ooh, we can for sure dunk the cookie Coffee warmed me up, woke me up. One more thing to do and that's catch a fish. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Man. We have just arrived at one of the first rapids that I really want to fish. Wow. Bullet lure. Here we go. Let's do this. Now the only thing is it does not look very deep here. Not very deep at all. Well, that's all right, let's see what happens. 
first cast, some weeds, that's, that's good luck right there. That's a good sign. Oh man, we're right in it. Oh, oh! Was that a bite or what was that? Man, I think there's a fish back there. I think there's one there. Look at all of these ice drops on our line. All right, all right, that's a sign. We're gonna keep moving. Keep on moving. Oh man, I hope this ice is solid. Oh yeah, the water's a lot deeper right here. Oh, come on, baby. All right, move just down the river a little bit. gotta be a trout in here somewhere all right there ain't no fish here we're gonna keep moving <laughs> man challenging i like this we got the water's coming around here and then it's blown back in there and it's rising up there whoa no wonder there's no trout up there Look at that. question now really is just how do we get down there without dying Ooh man and I am getting hungry all right first cast Oh, we got the bottom. <laughs> I don't think there's any fish here. We got one more spot to try. All right, we've arrived back at camp. So we're gonna pack up and head to a different spot. What could be is that those waterfalls have disrupted the migratory route of uh, the trout because trout are just like salmon they need to travel up the rivers in order to spawn so if they're not able to get up those rivers then uh, th the populations can collapse so we're gonna head to another nearby creek hopefully before dark and maybe catch a trout there because I am hungry Just one, just one for us to eat. Man, what a rough day of fishing. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, fish on, baby. What? Whoa, 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 really big fish. 
That's not a trout. That's not a trout, guys. This is not a trout. <laughs> it looks like a carp. It looks like a carp that's a carp on, baby. <laughs> oh, man, come here. He's just hooked on his front fin. I don't think he actually went for it. Come here, bud. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Look at him. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, he came off right there in front of us. That's okay. He, he was snagged, so I wasn't going to keep that fish anyways. All right, here's one of the very last spots that I can think of where maybe we can catch a trout. Bullet lure, this is all up to you now. Water here is a little wild for the, the worms and the bobber. Oh, oh, there's a bite, there's a bite, another bite. Oh, Ooh, they're biting, they're biting. Oh, I'm seeing some little trout right there. There, oh, there we go! <laughs> oh, 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 fighter, fighter! Oh my goodness! Right there where the little trout were jumping. Oh, and he came off. He came off. That's all right. He, he was. Ah, man. Not bad. I would have taken him. I would have taken him, but not bad. Wow. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Right there in the center. Oh, oh there he is! <laughs> Oh, that was such a solid bite. That was such a solid bite. We lost him though, we lost him. <laughs> wow, that was a solid biter. All right, come on, come on. That was like the very next cast. Ooh, there are the little ones jumping again. It's a good sign. Oh, there we go, fish on. Set the hook this time. Set the hook. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, oh. Oh, get down. There we go. Oh, that's a beauty. Absolute beauty. Perfect eater size. There we go. Put him to sleep. First things first. He, uh, yeah, he was bleeding quite a bit, so <laughs> I feel good about keeping this guy here. Perfect eater size. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm just going to rinse him off real quick. So one thing we have not yet done is get a bobber down. So we're just gonna pick out the biggest, juiciest of the worms. Oh, nasty dead worm. Big worm means big fish, right? Cast it right there in the honey hole, right where all those little guys keep surfacing and right there is where the big ones are, are hitting the bullet lure. So I'd only imagine, oh, there's a little one that just surfaced right by the worm. Come on, go down, go down just a little bit. There's so many little fish surfacing right now. There are so many trout. Oh, he's down, he's down. Oh, oh he took the worm. He took the worm. <laughs> All right, come on, this is the one. I feel really good about this one. All right, into the meat of it, in the strike zone. Bobber is down, Bobber is down, there you go, fish on. Oh. Oh, he's a monster! Don't, don't fall in the water. Absolute monster. We did it. We did it. That's, that's all we had to do. Don't need to keep him. There we go. Thank you, buddy. And straight in the water. And he's off. The bobber never fails. Dude, that was a rough day of fishing. We did it though. We did it. This looks like a perfect place to cook up some trout. What do you think? Ooh, look at this. A big old tumbleweed. And another tumbleweed. <laughs> yes.
get one of these tumbleweeds right there in the middle. We're gonna stomp this baby. We got our little nest right here. Oh, there we go, first strike. First one, wow. Behold, the magic power of tumbleweed. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah baby. Ideally you use a very sharp knife, not like mine. <laughs> what we're gonna do is just make a little cut right behind the head at an angle backwards. And then we can pull the head along with all the guts right out of them. And what we're gonna do is uh, this head here is gonna give a beautiful meal to the coyotes. So we're just gonna leave that uh, right there next to us. That's the, uh, the kidney. Just score that with your knife real quick. For that, you just use your finger. There you go. That's out. And we're just gonna clean out the inside here with some snow. There you go, cleans them right up. Man, this is about as fresh as it gets. Caught not even 30 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, that fire feels just absolutely amazing. So we're just gonna let that burn down till we get some nice embers. All right, what do we got with us to cook up the beautiful trout? A little bit of onion, a little bit of cheese. Oh, we got totally solid olive oil. We got an avocado. We got a little bit of butter. Oh God, the butter. Now a lot of you guys know that I used to live in Germany and uh, Germany is an absolutely beautiful country and I had an amazing 18 years of my life there. But when it comes to just raw, wild nature, Nothing beats being up here in the Pacific Northwest. We're gonna throw a little bit of uh, some olive oil in the pan here. Shave off that onion into the pan. Oh, geez, sorry avocado. All right, while those onions are still caramelizing, we're gonna throw the trout in at the same time. This little guy's gonna wanna curl really, really good because he's that fresh. We're gonna throw in a chunk of butter. Before we forget, the main ingredient of the dish, the Danish sea salt. Not gonna be shy on this baby at all. I think we got a winner here, boys and girls. That side is nice and golden brown. Absolutely beautiful. The coyotes are over that way howling. All right, we're gonna set this aside for one second. A little bit of cheese. Oh, that was a lot. Flour taco or tortilla on top of the cheese. Let's take a look at this trout tail. Oh, crunch factor 10. Mm. Oh, oh wow. Mm. See that spin? The spin means they're ready. They've become best friends. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Oh, just <laughs> rip the tortilla. Oh. Oh, just dro dropped off of the bones, dropped off. Didn't even have to pull it, it just came right off. Trout filet number one. Trout filet number dos. Throw on some caramelized onions. Almost forgot, we still have some uh, avocados here. All right, cheers guys. This is to all of you guys watching. 
till the very end. If you guys are watching this at the Sportsman Show, then thank you so much for coming and being a part of this. I never would have dreamt in my wildest dreams that uh, that this day would come. So thank you to all you wonderful people for being subscribed and joining the videos and making this all happen. So cheers. This one's for you. Let's take this first bite together. I figured today's video was special enough to uh, to do our traditional NWFS recipe, the trout taco. <laughs> it's funny how many of you guys have tried them too. Let me know in the comments if you tried or want to try, have any ideas, modifications, additions you do, and let me know what you guys want to see uh, here for future videos. Uh, do you want to see more videos at the property? Do you want to see more winter backpacking like I did today? Let me know in the comments any ideas that you guys have for the property, for backpacking, for fishing, or recipes. All right, that's all I got for you guys on this adventure. So thank you so much for watching. Until the end, if you are brand new, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss the next adventures. Leave a like on the video. It helps a ton. Drop a comment. I will read them, and I'll see all of you guys for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby. Ha, 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 ha.